Hey everybody, this is Ty. We're going to be talking about masternodes. It seems like they've gotten so popular recently. So many coins have announced them and people are flocking to it for passive income. So what is a masternode? How does it make you passive income? How do you set one up? And how do you even find a good masternode? Now, those of you that don't know, Dash was the first coin to introduce masternodes in early 2017. You need a thousand Dash coins to start one. And at early 2017, Dash was only $10 a coin. So for $10,000, you could have had a Dash masternode. Now it is worth almost a million dollars. Anybody carrying one of these is making over $60,000 in passive income just by holding a masternode. So what did masternodes actually even do? Now holding a masternode is kind of like holding a full node on the network. It carries the blockchain. It helps the blockchain from network attacks. Depending on the coin, it can do many different things. The most common one is it helps transaction speeds for instant transactions on some coins. Another common one is privacy. Some coins do coin mixing, Dash does private send, but coin mixing, what it kind of does is it mixes a whole bunch of coins in different addresses and it makes it really hard to track, to make it very simplistic. It also can serve it as a decentralized governance system. So the people that own a master node, they're very invested in the coin and they can help make decisions for the coin's future. It also can improve the coin's value because anybody holding this master node, it's like the next level of hodling. Because if you have a master node, you're probably not going to be day trading those coins and you're not going to sell them. So it can also really improve the coin's value. Let's take a look at what you need for a master node and how to actually find one. We're going to take a look. Okay, now you have your coins. You're ready to set up your master node. There's a few different options to setting up your master node that we're going to discuss. The most common, probably best way is do it yourself. You can do it on a computer or you can do it on a Raspberry Pi. I really like the idea of a Raspberry Pi. They're super cheap, only $25, $30, and you can set it up to host your master node. Keep in mind, if you are going to host a master node yourself, you are going to need a static IP address. Static IP addresses aren't as common for residential and some ISPs may not offer it. So call and check with your ISP if they offer it even and how much it is. They might charge a monthly fee or a one-time fee. Another way is to pay for a VPS. Vulture is a popular site that you can take a look at. The cheapest plan for $2.50 is actually temporarily sold out, um, but that probably would be sufficient on holding one master node. You probably couldn't do multi multiple master nodes on that. The next plan, $5, is the one I probably recommend. It's 25 gigabytes and it's $5 a month. I'm going to put a referral link on the bottom. If you want to use it, you're welcome to. The next one is Verpus. I've never used this one, so I can't really say if it's good or not. I had, do know people that are hosting their master nodes. It seems like it is a little bit cheaper, so it's $5 for 50 gigabytes, where else the Vulture was $5 for 25 gigabytes. I'll link both of them in the description. Now, my favorite way is Amazon AWS. Right now, Amazon is offering 12 months for free. So you can actually host your master node for free with Amazon AWS. You are gonna need to set up a instance with EC2. And there are some YouTube videos on how to do that. Keep in mind, setting up a master node, you are gonna be fairly technology savvy or do a lot of research on how to do it. But here is a few ways on hosting a master node and how to do it. Okay, let's take a look at how we can find a good master node. My favorite and most common website is masternodes.online. This is going to list about every single coin that offers a master node currently. That's not coins that's already announced a master node, but the filter system is really nice. So you can filter it on like how much a master node costs, starting with the cheapest to the most expensive. We've got Dasher that's $767,000, but looking at some of the cheaper ones, another thing you need to make sure and look at is the ROI. Like, what is this masternode actually paying? Like, Arctic Coin is the cheapest one, $116. It's only paying 8%, 8% so it's not a whole lot. And the thing also, you got to realize, the more people that have a masternode, that's getting divided up to everybody that has a masternode, so that ROI is going to decrease. You can also filter it on how much they pay on ROI. There's some pretty insane ROIs, but a lot of these masternode coins, I, I believe completely that they are scams. The developers are on multiple coins. 
They do a huge pre-mine, always look at how much they pre-mine. And as soon as it hits an exchange, they unload it. And keep in mind also, the high ROI ones are gonna be more attractive. So more people are gonna get the high ROI ones, which will decrease the ROI. But after we take a look at one of these coins, so let's take a look at uh, a new one, Cheese. I haven't really looked at this coin too much. Also keep in mind these master nodes, look at what the fundamentals are. A lot of them are like, okay, hey, we've got a master node and we're a peer-to-peer -peer anonymous transaction system. That, that, there's no fundamentals on it. You may be investing in a master node and getting passive income, but it doesn't do you any good if the coin is just gonna dump and just take a look at the fundamentals. What does the coin do? But once you click on the coin, you can see the daily income, the weekly income, and the yearly income. And it'll help you decide whether you want to invest in it or not. Keep in mind, these are not completely up to date. The best thing you can do is go on their Discord or Telegram and take a look on how many masternodes are current and ask the people. Just get a feel for the community. What I've noticed on a lot of the masternodes is the developers almost have pretty much abandoned the project and they don't update the code. A lot of these are very scammy, so take a look at it. You can look at the price. I mean, see, look, this one just completely dumped. It's not going to do you any good to invest in a master node and then completely dump. Take a look at the website. I strongly recommend investing in ones that have fundamentals, active developers, and that are going to contribute. Another site is called masternodes.pro. This site, I've noticed, it seems like they have a more accurate um, look at how much the master nodes actually pay. I invested in a send master node the other day, and let's let's do a side by side comparison on send. But I've noticed the pro; it seems like it keeps a better track on it. So send on there, it looks like it's a forty point seven seven percent, and then on master nodes pro you're looking at a 36.48 cents. So I, I've noticed Master Nodes Pro seems like they're most current on it, but like I said, research the coin, look at the Bitcoin talk, go into their Discord, talk to the people, are they happy? Are the developers actually committing stuff to GitHub? Are they developing the coin or is it just a crap coin that all it is is a Master Node and promising good passive income? So here's a good way to look and see what master nodes you want to invest in. There's a lot of coins right now that are offering master nodes. Linda has one that's 30 million coins and they're actually dropping it to 2 million. I'm going to invest in Linda on the 2 million, not the 30 million. That's a pretty high master node, but take a look at some of the coins that are actually about to offer master nodes and let me know if you have any questions. I'd really appreciate if you subscribe and comment, and I always get back to comments, so definitely let me know if you have any questions, and I really hope this helped, and thank you for taking the time to tune in.